What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to <clears throat> Mondays with Kyler. Um, I'm big on ambiguity. Um, happy Labor Day. Uh, it is the 1st of September, so yay. Let's see, just moving my other quickly. Um, hope everybody had a good week. Um, I know um, we had our local county fair this year or this weekend, so I've been doing that and uh, working up there a lot, so. I've been busy with that, and, uh, yeah, but, um, on to, um, this week's topic, um, week six, can't believe it's been six weeks already, uh, since we started this whole group, and doing videos and stuff, but it's crazy, um, but this week's, um, topic is, uh, changing documents, and uh, the process that um, we have to go through and whatnot for you know our area, and then uh, some struggles uh, we might have to go through to get where we are now. Um, for me, um, I forgot what I was going to say for a second. Um, well for me, um, my gender identity has already changed on my license, um, it's been like that for like two years, um, so I'm legally male in the state of Ohio, so that's pretty cool, um, I don't remember if I found, um, the form online, um, or if I had my therapist send it, um, I actually think I found it online. And I printed off, I filled out what I needed to fill out, and I sent it to my therapist. She did her thing, and sent it back to me. And then I sent that to, like, the Ohio Division of Motor Vehicles or something. I don't even know what it is. Um, and then they sent me a letter back stating, you know, we got your, you know, we accept your changes, blah, 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 whatever. Um... And then, like, all I needed to do was take that letter into my license bureau, my local license bureau department, and have them change that. So, uh, that was the easiest um, process of everything. It didn't cost me anything other than 48 cents to my therapist and 48 cents or something to mail it. So, it was the cheapest. Um, so that's where I started off, so that's <clears throat> done, plus I was, um, when I changed it, I was in the process of looking for, uh, jobs, and I just didn't want to have to, like, really explain much, um, with that situation, so I just had them, you know, I wanted it done before I got a job, so I didn't have to, like, explain, like, all this other shit, but, um, that was that, um, I know for... Um, to legally change my name, uh, I seen I just moved back to, um, the county I'm in, I have to, even though I've lived here for 25 years out of my 27, um, years, um, I have to be a resident for one year, um, within the county, and then I can file for a name change. So then I can legally be, uh, Kyler Austin. So, that'll be cool. Um, and I think that is 125. And then, like, I need, um, like, all these different, like, legal documents and stuff that I, um, have to find. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's a long, crazy process. Um... But I haven't been there and I can't do that yet, so I can't really tell you much more on that. I've just um, looked it up myself and printed some stuff off. I have all the forms and everything signed and ready to go. I just have to wait for that year mark because um, it'd be my luck that they would, you know, search and whatever. But it's all good um, with that. And um, just some. 
like struggles and stuff like that I've gone through. Um, like really the only like main struggle that I've had was when I went to go get my gender marker changed. Um, it wasn't even like really a struggle, but it was just kind of like irritating. Um, like I took the letter and everything in there and my county, you know, it's not very big. My hometown is very small, like everybody knows everybody. So when I took uh, my form in, they made like some big deal out of it and it was like, you know, is this for real? You know, was this what we're really doing? Like, kept asking me and double checking and triple checking and, and like having to go get the owner and like, are you sure this is what we're doing? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, yeah, you know, don't. It's <laughs> what the form says, just do it. You're making a bigger deal out of it than what it really is. So, it's, I mean, that's like been like the biggest struggle that I've had through it all. Um, but now that I'm not working, um, just trying to come up with the money to change my name, um, is a little ridiculous right now, but I have other bills and a whole bunch of other stuff going on, um, so, yeah, I know it's just, I don't, I don't know, like, I don't really have, um, much more to say, um, and other than, you know, a few struggles or whatever that I've already been through, I know there's, um, other guys that are farther along that may have had more struggles, um, that might, you know, be able to help you or guide you more, um, than what I am, but, this is gonna wrap up, uh, week six, uh, Mondays with Kyler, happy Labor Day, and everybody be safe. I'll catch you guys next week.